I would take Philadelphia next year to be the best team in the NFC. And I think it's highlighted by something. I tend to judge people how they deal with crisis. If your kid hits a home run at a Little League game, every dad is cool. But what if your kid strikes out three times and the last two, the umpiring was terrible? How's dad act then? Judge people on how they act in crisis because that's who they are. They say alcohol is truth serum, so is crisis. People at their point of stress become who they truly are. They can't fake it anymore. The Philadelphia Eagles, this Nick Foles, Carson Wentz situation has been a mess. It's a mess. It would unravel most NFL teams. They came into the season on crutches. They're on their four-string running back. Their secondary is a nightmare. This quarterback situation, the media is saying it's a dilemma. And I think it's the opposite. What this Nick Foles, Carson Wentz quarterback, quote, dilemma has proven to me is this is the best run football operation in the NFC. People in Philadelphia think I don't like the Eagles, and I question whether Doug Peterson, who didn't even call plays in Kansas City, was the right guy. I was wrong. He is. I've said that multiple times. But Cleveland needed a quarterback. They traded away from Carson Wentz. Philadelphia needed one. They traded into him. And he will be the quarterback going forward, and he should be. 6'5", big athlete, great arm. But what I'm, when I think about the Philadelphia Eagles, what they're doing, injuries, quarterback situation, on the road, didn't get a single break this year physically. And they were going in the Superdome, winning drive to beat the Saints in the Superdome. Listen, the New York Giants can't even handle a one-quarterback situation. God, they can't figure out the Eli thing. Philadelphia's got two capable quarterbacks and has handled it brilliantly. Wentz appears to like Foles. Foles appears to like Wentz. They both appear to like the general manager and the quarterback and the head coach. This is not a dilemma for Philadelphia. It is actually an illuminator. For them to deal with this quarterback situation and there not be a bump in the road tells you he's, this is an incredibly well-run organization. This is an incredibly well-run organization. The Giants can't figure out the one quarterback thing. They got two guys who could start. The star is watching the backup win a Super Bowl. And every time I watch Philadelphia, I'm like, complete and utter harmony. You see it as a weakness. I see it as a strength. And I don't think it gets in the way of what will be next year, going forward, the best team in the NFC, Philadelphia Eagles. The whole thing's been magical. It's unbelievable. This would unravel 80% of the teams in the league. Patriots had Brady Garoppolo. Even that thing in the end got tense. That thing for three months got a little ugly. These guys are like, no, that's good. Wentz likes Foles. Foles like Wentz. They both like Peterson. That's why I like him next year in the NFC.